Okay, we're going to talk a little bit on Matrix 8 on how renderings changed a little bit. You can see here that I've got this nice render already for our ring on our screen here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. Okay, um, one thing that has changed with uh, Matrix is that you were able to, in previous versions, assign a metal color and if you wanted it to shade, because if I hit the arrow down we have all these different shade buttons, but if you like the presentation which makes things shiny in, in the colors that you want, you were able to assign those colors. We've changed it now. If you come over here to F6, we've got these different modes. Let's go to the materials mode and it's sort of a little version of V-Ray here. Um, so if I'm going to make the shank yellow, I'll select it and hit go. If I want the halo in white, we'll select it and hit go. I'll right click on Gemo 3 to get my small stones and yeah let's make these yellow this time diamonds and go and we'll select you and we'll go into emeralds and make that an emerald okay so now if I hit the arrow down and go to presentation there you go so now you can work in this shade mode with the customer so it's shiny it's in the colors that you want okay so you just have to be able to come over here and also you can choose the quality of metal so when you want to do um, a quote with the weight you can as well so let's um, let's just get rid of F6 here and we'll go back to shaded okay so we're gonna go into V-Ray and the first thing I'm gonna do is put out a ground plane something for the ring to sit on uh, we'll go back into our metals library. Everything's been assigned already, so technically I don't have to go in here, but I just want to show you a few things. I'm just going to click on yellow. Now, um, if I go over here to color tab, you'll notice that we've made up 25 different um, shades of yellow gold for you. If you're not happy with the middle one that you have, let's say you want it a little bit richer, I'm just going to choose this one down at the bottom. We'll hit update and we'll just give it a second depending on how fast your machine is. Every time I threaten to pause it, it seems to... Let's just pause this. And of course the second that I hit pause, it came out with a new color, which I actually like better. Doesn't that look nice? Okay, let's hit the green button and ah, we'll just go with the white gold too. So again, the white gold has this where you can um, change the tone. There's also texture in here that's new. You can go ahead and click uh, here and find yourself a texture. That'll be for another video. Um, okay, so did I hit the green button? Here we go. Might as well do it again if I didn't. And we'll um, select these. Now let's go into the gem colors. Uh, we went with those yellow diamonds before, but we'll what the heck, we'll just go with there's all kinds of different diamonds in here um, we can go ahead and assign that now if you want to change the color of diamonds just go ahead and click on this little rainbow here and uh, you can if you want you know less blue or more blue depending on how you want the diamond you can hit save and um, and then again you're gonna have to hit update over here but I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and oh what the heck um, why not garnet let's put a garnet in there now okay um, our ground planes they've stayed the same um, pretty much I haven't seen anything new in here you can pick whatever color that you want I kinda like these um, reflective this was actually not a bad one white to black it might be a little dark but we'll hit the green button here now your environments and I hit the arrow down there's a new one um, called Fifth Avenue and it's labeled slow so I wouldn't say go pop some popcorn but maybe go get a coffee might take a little bit of time to do um, the classic fast has always been a good one I like color dome we've actually made our own here which um, I quite like as well 
Again, that's going to be another video here. So let's just. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to rotate the piece around to what angle that you want, and you just go ahead and hit render. And we'll just wait a second. So yeah, this is quite dark, but it's fast. So you can see here how I've got an i7 here. So there's seven boxes screaming across the page here. And there you go. So now we could just go up to save and just drop it into our um, folder that we want to save it in. Now, if you want um, uh, to really be able to have some very nice renders, I think this is a nice render for 90% of the general population. But if you're going to enter a design competition or if you want these uh, a as an image on your front page of your uh, website, you may want to go to our help section, um, which has um, the uh, manual. Hey, I just pulled it up here. So there's quite a few um, pages written in our help about making the image, just tweaking it just to make it a, a little bit uh, better. So as I said, I think this looks really great. Um, we also at um, GV Design Canada, we've uh, created a two-day uh, rendering an animation course and if you can come to Toronto great if not you can buy the videos from us at 295 you can just let us know at info at gvdesigncanada.com and otherwise um, I think you're really going to enjoy this new matrix 8 rendering